But I just want to go into a bit more detail about uh, what you ask CEOs about where they see the source of growth. Where is it coming from over the next year or so? Yeah, so actually, as you look, this is a story that, for the most part, is consistent with the last two to three years. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is you see the top five countries basically being US, China, here, Germany, UK, India, with the major change this year, at least in the top five, with actually India rising up into the top five, which ties back to my earlier comments, as you looked before, and that jumps ahead of Japan in terms of the opportunities that are sitting there. So I think it's interesting to see that, but I would also say that the CEOs, when we ask them, see many more opportunities. Five years ago, they probably would have had a small list of countries they think they want to invest in. Because of the world being so much smaller with social media, connectivity, and the like, even though we talk about these concepts of populism and nationalism and maybe anti-globalism, they are seeing opportunities and then placing bets in lots of different places. So the laundry list of where to invest is actually increasing and is very country by country specific and or sector specific. The second thing that's important here is the difference in the, the game of being number one or number two with the U.S. and China. Yes. So the U.S. continues to enhance its lead over China, albeit many organizations around the world are focused on both countries as big opportunities, I think for vastly different reasons in terms of what's happening there. And that's why I think when you look at these two countries, you're going to continue to see them top of the list, but really for two fundamentally different reasons as you look ahead.